Good morning, happy Monday, happy Valentine's Day. I thought as a gift today, we would do a really gentle, relaxing, um, restorative class. I know some of you don't like the stillness, so then this is definitely for you. And I thought I would start with um, a reading about Anahata, heart chakra. Actually, that's the wrong, the wrong drawing. I think it is. Um, the, uh, ironically, the color for heart chakra is green, the center of our body right here. But I wore red for Valentine's Day. Um, so <clears throat> I'm going to read a little bit about this and then we'll do um, a tiny meditation to help you relax. And that involves a 61 point restorative chart. So what it does is I have you relax wherever you practice your yoga and I will be reading out a guided meditation and you just close your eyes and I become very aware of these 61 points of the body. In the heart, there is a brilliant lotus endowed with divine glory. So that's this uh, one, two, three, fourth chakra or energy center in our body is our heart. The Anahata chakra is the energetic center of our subtle body. So we have um, the koshas, multiple bodies. We often talk about, we're very aware of the gross outer body, um, the body that we can feel. Um, but as we move inwards, if you think about the layers of an egg, the layers of an onion, the layers of um, those Petrushka dolls that stuck together, um, the outside we're very aware of, our physical gross outer body. But as we move in, there's a layer called the subtle body, and it kind of transitions between um, the invisible, like our spiritual self, and our physical body. So there's that middle piece, and I kind of like that because we often talk about the actual heart, heart, Maybe you have actual heartbreak. And then we talk about the heart, which is this invisible thing, but it actually starts up here, our feelings. It's, um, it is one of the most powerful links between the physical and the spiritual realms of ourself or the world to function, to transmute higher vibrations from, okay, I don't know if I believe in all that, healing functions. The heart chakra governs our respiratory and circulatory system. So isn't it interesting that our heart governs our lungs and I feel like they're chicken and egg which came first which is more important um, I think they're both interchange they actually both have to be working together equally um, asthma bronchitis and lung cancer are linked to anahata or blocked heart energy in the pain in your ribs upper back shoulders chest and thoracic spine in women this chakra is related to the health of our breasts as well some people believe that often we get ill in these parts of our body if that chakra is blocked. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, quite often we will do heart opener, like back bend poses to open this area. So sometimes if you're feeling um, emotionally stuck or you've been bent forward a lot, you might wanna do some work on a bolster and help open up that area. There are so many beautiful articles about the heart chakra. Um, we often do heart opening classes about it. Um, anahata actually means unstuck and we can become stuck uh, emotionally in a lot of ways in our lives. A subtle non-physical sound. Um, there are distinct sounds that you hear with your physical ears, but sometimes there's vibrations in the body if you're doing the anahata um, chanting, which we don't do. Um, there's a couple meditations. When the energy in your heart chakra is balanced, you're free of blockages, you rarely feel lonely. You are not lacking in ability to forgive. You are short of, you are not short of sympathy. And you would not be the type of person who would stay in a loveless marriage if your heart chakra is wide open. Also, if you'd be unlikely to deny yourself medical care or physical nurturing. People with imbalances in their heart chakra or anahata um, are often referred to as hard-hearted or suffering from um, a tightening of the heart. So maybe even think about different points in your life where you felt like you weren't your same loving self. Um, you have a tendency to smother people. I don't want to talk about this. If you have too much heart chakra. Okay. And, oh, this is cute. They do the Lotus Mudra. And we talk about mudras are hand yoga. So it bring both baby finger and thumb together spread the fingers and it's supposed to emulate a beautiful lotus flower and you would put it here under your chin and there are some different meditations you would do with this. 
Um, let's see what they offer. Bring your hands together, keeping the... Okay, so this is the mantra if you're gonna do the Lotus um, mantra. I open my heart to receive whatever comes my way. And I keep saying this to my friends who are sad, maybe still in the middle of a messy divorce. You have to be energetically open for something good to come into your life. If you're still stuck on being angry at this person, this I'm gonna say the ship that has sailed, you're not energetically open to receive more from the universe. I don't believe we have one true love. I think our lives are so long and complex that we have the opportunity to love multiple people throughout our lives and in different ways. Um, there's so much about Anahata or heart chakra. And all of the poses are ones that we do. Heart opening, back bends, up dog, all the cobras, um, camel, bow pose, wheel, bridge, cow face even shows up as an opening uh, pro pose. And then what else? Oh, and then we start to move into the more spiritual chakras. So I'd like you to get yourself comfortable. For you, it might be sitting on the couch. It might also be um, lying flat on your yoga mat. Whichever you are, if it means bending your knees because you don't have any pillows beneath your knees, do that. Uh, if it means grabbing a blanket, do that. And then I'm gonna start to prepare us for that relaxation piece. Gently breathe in through your nose. We're gonna do five of these. Hold it in for two count. And exhale. We do that five times and that's to slow down and, and kind of de-stress and bring down that sympathetic nervous system or to activate the sympathetic nervous system. Inhale two. Exhale. Inhale three. Exhale. Inhale four. Exhale. And the last one, inhale five. Let's hold it as long as you can. Exhale. And I want you to get nice and comfortable. For me, I'm sitting up on a special meditation pillow. You might be lying down. Like I said, you might be sitting on the couch, whichever works for you. Coming into this place of relaxation, knees bent or legs straight. Maybe you put a pillow behind your knees. That's just to help the lower back. Maybe you put a flat um, folded blanket or very thin crappy pillow behind your head to support your neck. Arms away from your body, palms turned up. Grab a blanket if that helps and find a way to start to notice your body. So we're starting with that physical gross outer body. As you breathe in through the nose, start to notice that as you hold the breath, you're able to circulate that air and that sense of relaxation into the body. Take another big breath in. Can you hold it a little longer than the last breath? Feel it resonating throughout the whole body. I like to visualize when you fill up a bottle of water or a vase and the water enters in cool and blue coming down and the water is the air into your body, slowly circulating to all the crevices and corners of your body warming as it comes down into you all the way down into each toe and slowly release this tension that's holding in your body and as you breathe out through the nose your body's able to let go a little further and now we'll start our meditation just continue that idea of breathing in holding it for a few breaths and as you exhale through the nose on the exhales we're physically releasing letting go you might have to consciously let go of any tension especially in the back body knowing that the floor is supporting you. I'm gonna call out some different parts of the body and some people even might use a eye pillow or a rolled up towel across your eyes to help block out the light and the, the possibility of opening your eyes. Take a big breath in through the nose. And letting go breath through the nose. On the next breath in, take your attention to the center of your forehead that place between the eyebrows, also referred to as the third eye. And as you exhale through the nose, let the weight of the back of your head gently press into the floor or pillow. Inhale, 
Take the next breath and center of attention to the base of the front of your neck. We call that the throat chakra. And as you breathe out through the nose, let any tension go in the shoulders, therefore helping to relax this neck part. Big breath in, the next breath, taking your attention to your right shoulder and gently press it towards the earth, opening up the shoulder girdle, creating space in our chest. That next breath in, gently the breath comes all the way down to your right elbow. Release the weight of that arm to the floor. Deep inhale through the nose and drawing your next attention to your right wrist. Arm is heavy and relaxed. Letting go of any tension in that forearm from all the work you maybe do, lifting, working, giving. This moment is for you. Next breath in, take your awareness to your outer right wrist. Relax the arm, relax the hand. Let the knuckles fall heavy into the earth. The fingers might gently curl. Next breath in, taking it towards the right thumb. And as you relax and release the next breath, thumb gently relaxes, maybe falls wider open. Deep inhale through the nose, coming to the index finger or pointer finger. As you breathe out through the nose, let the weight of the back of the right knuckle on your pointer finger relax. Next breath, bringing awareness to right middle finger, often called the power finger. As you breathe out through the nose, let it relax. Relaxing from the knuckle, the finger might softly curl. Next breath, guiding it towards the ring finger. As you breathe out through the nose, let everything go. Next breath, taking your awareness to your baby finger or little finger. And as you breathe out, the whole hand relaxes. The back of the bones of the hand heavy to the mat. Thinking about the weight of that hand opening your chest. Next breath in, comes back to the front of the neck, base, throat chakra. You might even feel a bone, or let's just keep the body open and relaxed. Taking your awareness over to your, back to your, sorry I missed, back to your right wrist, back up to your right elbow. The next breath then we come back to the right shoulder, the whole shoulder girdle open and relaxed. Deep inhale through the nose, bringing the awareness to back to the center of the base of the throat, connecting the two shoulders together. And as you exhale through the nose, the weight of the shoulder girdle wide and relaxed. Deep inhale through the nose, bringing our awareness to our left shoulder, heavy and relaxed to the floor. Deep inhale through the nose, bringing your awareness to the left elbow heavy and relaxed. Down to the left wrist, heavy and relaxed. Taking your next breath down to the thought of the weight of the thumb, and maybe in this case, the thumb is softly curled, palm open. Taking your awareness now to the net left pointer finger or index finger, big breath in. And as you exhale, let all the bones in the back of the hand be heavy and relaxed, helping to open our chest and our heart, Anahata Heart Chakra. Take your awareness to your left middle finger, heavy and relaxed. Coming now to the left index ring finger, heavy and relaxed. Taking your awareness to the last finger, the baby finger, heavy and relaxed. Feeling the back of all of the knuckle bones in the back of your left hand, heavy to the mat, palm open, fingers might be softly curled. Noticing the heaviness of the upper part of your body, heavy, surrender, relaxed. Taking your awareness back to the base of the front of the neck, throat chakra. Next breath in, imagine an imaginary line being traced over to the right of your chest. Exhale, back to the center of our chest, 
Big breath in. Exhale, whole back body heavy. The next breath, coming over to the left of the chest. Deep inhale. And as you exhale, let the shoulder blades and the rib cage fall heavier into the floor. You have nowhere to be except here, heavy and relaxed. Taking your awareness back to the center of the chest. Big breath in through the nose. And then imagine this imaginary line being drawn down the center of your body to your navel, belly button helping the lower back be heavy and relaxed behind this belly button, also referred to as our solar plexus. Next breath in, take that imaginary line down to the pubic bone with the hips and whole body, the pelvis, heavy and relaxed, whether your knees are bent or straight. Take a deep breath in through the nose, guiding the next breath to our right hip. Let it be heavy, and relaxed. On the next breath in, imagine this imaginary line being drawn down to the right outer right knee, heavy and relaxed. The next breath we continue down to the right ankle. Perhaps your feet gently flop open as your body lets go. The next breath we think about our big toe, heavy and relaxed. Coming down to the second toe, heavy and relaxed. On the next breath, imagine this tiny chalk line coming down to the third toe. The ankle is heavy and relaxed. Next breath, we come to the fourth toe, noticing any tension still sitting in that right leg or ankle. As you breathe out through the nose, let it relax. Coming now to the right knee, back up to the right hip, heavy and relaxed. On your next breath, take this imaginary line to your pubic bone back to the center of the body, root chakra where we began our lives, our center of family and origin. Draw that imaginary line over to the left hip. We want to give it some love and attention. Hip is heavy and relaxed. Take a deep breath in through the nose and guide this next breath over towards the left knee. Imagine this light white chalk line, drawing a line, connecting our body parts, but inviting them to relax. Over to the left ankle, Relax. That same breath, big inhale. Notice the chest is getting easier to open to expansion. And as you breathe out, the back body continues to be heavy and relaxed. Take your next breath, invisible white line down to your left knee. Let the thigh be heavy and relaxed, allowing the hip to be heavy and relaxed. Imagine that same line now drawing down the shin Relaxing the calf and shin towards the left big toe. Relax. Left second toe. Relax. Left third toe. Relax. Left fourth toe. Relax. Imagine this imaginary white line comes down to the final baby toe. Relax. The whole foot flops outwards and relaxes. That imaginary line comes back to the left ankle, heavy, open, and relaxed. The line comes up to the left knee, left hip, and back to the pubic bone. Take a big breath in through the nose, and as you exhale through the nose, we're continuing this heavy breathing in and out through the nose. That imaginary line comes back to our belly button, the belly is relaxed, the heart and belly are open, hips are relaxed. Drawing that line up back to the center of the chest, our Anahata heart chakra, where this all began. Think of that area open, and I like to visualize a wide open circle swirling, almost like um, a little pool of water open, swirling. 
beautiful turquoise green water, open and moving, not stuck. Taking your next thought back up to the base of the throat of the neck, where we speak about the love for people in our lives. And your final breath back up to the center of the forehead, heavy and relaxed. So while you're here heavy and relaxed, I'm gonna to continue to add on. Dealing with Anahata meditations are where we direct our breath and our body to work with our mind and our heart to be completely open. Meditation of our Anahata heart chakra free us from the idea that matter in gaseous form, air, is real. You gain mastery over the sense of touch and the activity of giving and receiving. Your mind becomes expansive in nature and our heart is often operated by our mind. So we're going to have some affirmations I will read to you and one of these might resonate with you and I hope that you will repeat this to yourself over and over. First one is I forgive myself. Think about something that maybe has been weighing on you emotionally and you need to let go. Forgiveness is a gift you give yourself. It's invisible, but it emotionally, mentally, and physically frees a lot of tension in our body and our heart. Another variation could be, I forgive, insert person here, and are grateful for the lesson they taught me. So think about someone you're having a really hard time letting go. It's creating blockages in your life from you enjoying new people or expanding on relationships already in your life. The third affirmation is my heart is free of unnecessary burdens. So there's that idea of open, swirling love, open for more friends, more love, more family. Another affirmation is I experience great joy and therefore great energy. So maybe you're already happy and okay with where you are in your life. So you're appreciating the joy. And the last one is my spirit is boundless and free as the air. So there's a lightness in that affirmation. I'll say them again. I forgive myself. I forgive you and I've let go and I'm grateful for the lesson you taught me. My heart is free of unnecessary burdens. I experience joy and therefore I am great energy. And the last one is my spirit is as boundless and free as the air. So I'll take two more breaths thinking about those things. That's a lot. We're keeping the thought up here and in our heart and not moving our body yet. If you practice loving kindness meditation, which is also called metta, if you practice this simple but powerful meditation on a regular basis, <clears throat> you may be experiencing a healing of past traumas along with associated emotional releases. Memories of past grief might come to mind in your process of healing during some meditations. Be easy and nurturing with yourself. You may want to end your meditation by repeating the Sanskrit mantra, Loka Samasta Sukhi no Devantu, meaning may all beings everywhere be happy and free. Someday we will work further on this meditation. Loka Samasta Sukina Bhavantu. And that's something we will work on. There's a song that we can do with that, and our, maybe we'll do another day of heart meditation. So visualizing your heart as an unopened rose, you concentrate on it, the bud slowly begins to open. Think of slow motion animation of a flower opening, and you feel your heart opening with it. Some people like to visualize heat and warmth radiating from out the heart of the center of the body, instilling a sense of well-being into the every part of your body. So the idea of the heart and the heat warmth starting in the center. You might even bring your hands to your heart, one to hand to heart, one hand to belly. To assist the heart opening process, mentally repeat the process. And this is the loving kindness meditation. May I be happy. May I be healthy. 
May I live with ease. May I be free of disease. We're going to do that two more times. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I live with ease. And may I be free of disease. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, shoulders are heavy, heart is open. Last phrase, may I be happy. Put a smile on your face if you're slowly coming back to awareness. May I be healthy. May I live with ease. May I be free of disease. Think of someone you know who's going through something right now, a difficult period. And imagine that warmth rating out to that person. Maybe you visualize handing this rose that's now fully open and warm to this person. Who needs this? Also, if you're feeling heavy, imagine you're handing off that heaviness to someone else to help you share this burden. Mentally repeat, may you be happy, may you be healthy, and may you live with ease. We shifted that love and focus to someone other than our own body. And finally, we're going to think of someone that you have injured in our own way. Feel our heart communicating compassion for that person and mentally repeat, may you be happy, may you be free, may you live with ease. Very slowly, we want to bring our awareness back to our physical body as we prepare to come back to the morning. Keeping your eyes closed, your body heavy and relaxed. Start to wiggle your fingers and gently wiggle your toes. And notice other places of the body that wake up when you move your hands and feet. And gently rock your head side to side as if you're saying no. Letting the neck be free, fingers, toes, head, all gently moving, creating a tiny ripple effect inside the body. And coming back to center, bring the legs together. If they are bent, stretch them out for a moment. Toes point, arms reach overhead. Stretch, 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 lengthen, 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 and then release. We're gonna do that two more times. Toes point, arms reach, 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 reach. Maybe even grab your hands, reach, 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 and release. And one more time. Toes point, arms reach, go behind you, lengthen maybe one side, then the other, and release. Gently bend your feet to the mat. Take a pause here. And then bringing your knees to your chest, gently rocking side to side in little boat. Rolling onto our side, and we'll take a few breaths here in constructive rest or fetal position. And feeling thankful for this health and this body and all the people in your life, doesn't matter how many, who bring love to you. Love through service, love through their words, love through kind gestures, love through financial support, emotional support, maybe it's even your pets. And gently roll up into seated position, ready to come back to your day with a more open chest, open heart. And maybe today you will be open to seeing some love expressions in your life that aren't obvious, that have nothing to do with Hallmark cards. Thank you so much for your effort. I hope you have a beautiful Valentine's Day. The good in me sees the good in you. Namaste.